Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Babylon can't stop this campaign. campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heathen rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. We bring it this out. kingdom, we bringing it down. Now. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. found. Wait until we get a crown. Crown talk. Yeah. This that crown talk. Yeah. Nehemiah don't want to be like Nino Brown now. Nah. Cause this that king talk. Who? Real life king talk. Who? Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow. But his son coming back with fire. So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy. Unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street. My people property in this monopoly. Call it America. Where the dreams come true. When nightmares and the demons come too The side of my agenda I don't give a damn if you offended Cause this Hey, so long, bro, what's your name, man? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, I'm Adonijah So, what we out here doing is we teaching our people their true heritage according to the Bible Let me get to Rock 17 and 11 a true heritage. What is heritage? What are customs? What, yes, what is our, what are we supposed to be doing as so-called black men? What, 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 what do we do all the time? What do we do as all day, every day? Praise the Lord. Yo, we praise the Lord. No, we ain't praising the Lord. But I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. We, we up in the houses. We, we in the house smoking weed. We drinking all day. Just look around. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Drinking. Like, that's all we want to, That's all the black man want to do with his life? That's it? Watch this. So Rock chapter 17 verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. What did it say he gave us? Lord he gave us a law, the law of life for a heritage. Yes. We're right. supposed to be keeping God's laws around here. Right. But do you see anybody keeping God's laws? Nope. Or you see people smoking weed, okay. smoking, smoking crack, yep. selling crack. Yep. You see, you see all this evil going down up and down the streets. But he gave us laws for a heritage. Right. This is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be keeping God's laws, right? Right. So what is your race in the Bible? What is your race? What is your uh, nation of origin? Where are you from? What's, what's your homeland? Canton? Canton, Mississippi. So all black people in the world is from Canton, Mississippi? No. 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 All black people in the world are not from Canton, Mississippi. Bring it up. Get uh, the motherland. Let's show you where the, the real motherland is, all right? All right. We go, we're going to show you out of the Bible. Where is the so-called black man and black woman from? Bring it out where are we from? 
Are, are we from Cannes, Mississippi? Are we from Jackson, Mississippi? Are we from Mississippi? We was we at from the beginning. Let's see. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem, which is above its feet. But where? But Jerusalem, which is above its feet. But Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a city in Israel. Right. Okay. So let's see what it's going to say about Jerusalem. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the what? Which is the mother of us all. What's the motherland? motherland. What's the motherland? Uh, Read it again. But Jerusalem, which is the brother's free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the motherland, motherland. not Africa. Bring it up. Everybody you see, it all started in Jerusalem. Yeah. This is our homeland. We ain't from Canton, Mississippi. We ain't from Jackson. We ain't from Mexico. We ain't from Guatemala. We ain't from Panama. We ain't from uh, uh, South America. We ain't from none of We from Jerusalem. Yeah. That's where our homeland is. That's where the, the so-called black man and so-called Hispanic man don't know about himself. Right. He is an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 28. And verse 15. Because what we have to learn out here is what we, we are supposed to be keeping God's commandments. We are God's chosen people. We are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we listen to the, to the Lord... All right. If the Israelites would listen to God's commandments, read. To observe, to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God would set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if we listen to God's commandments, God will put us above all nations on the face of the earth. Right. That's what we read. What are we reading? The black man having slaves. Right. That's what we need. That's right. Does the black man have slaves today? Hey, you got slaves, my brother, going in the store in a white hat? You got slaves, my brother? You got you got some slaves. Is this brother here? He said he got what? Come, come talk to me when you get out the store, man. Man, see, this was wrong with the black man. That's all he was. Why won't the black man marry the black woman? Right. Why? Why would he? He want to just screw around and have twenty five kids and don't take care of none of them. Bring it out. But this why. That's why we out of order now. That's why you see what you see now. You got young girls walking up up and down the street. Give me uh, Leviticus uh, nineteen and twenty nine. You got little girls walking up and down the street, and a father, no, no father in the house. Because he want to have hoes. Bring it out. Bring what you got. Bring it up. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter. What does the Bible say? Do not prostitute thy daughter. So the Bible say the black man is supposed to be at home teaching his young girl to be modest. Right. To be a woman. Not to be walking up and down the street looking for some hoes. That's not, that's not what a black man is supposed to, that, that's not what the Israelites are supposed to be teaching their children. Right. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Lest the land fall to her. Lest the what? Lest the land fall to her. That's what you see around here. This is whoredom out here. You got AIDS in the community. You got gonorrhea running rapid in the community. You got all kind of diseases running around in the community. Why? Because we, we as black men and women, will not take care of our responsibilities. The work, the man want to have a hundred women, and the women want to sleep with a hundred men. This, this, this keeps us at the bottom. This is why we in the hoods and ghettos and slums of America. Right. Go to Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixteen. Bring it out. This, this is why this Bible is a true book. This Bible is our history. Hey, uh, see, uh my brother, come on. Come here, senor. Come here, yes, you. Come here. Read, read what you got out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed is thy, 
Un momento, un momento. Leader Guerra. Where should I be in the city? And where should I be in the field? So the Bible says we will be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Cursed in the field. Who is cursed in the city? Who living in the in the ghettos of America? Who living in the worst conditions in America? The Israelites is living in the worst city. Hey, come 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 talk to me, bro. Come talk to me, bro. Come talk to me, bro. This is how you want to do. Be a man, bro. First, first Kings two and two. First Kings two and two. We trying to teach our people, man. We trying to teach our people. What we trying to teach you? How to be men. And teach our women how to be women. Right. How to be submissive to the man. Read what you got, right? First Kings chapter two, verse two. I go the way of all the work, all all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. The Bible says, "Be thou strong and show yourself a man." Right. The Bible's about to tell us how to be men. That's right. Okay. How does a black man? Stop playing around all the time and become a man. We're about to read it. Read it. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments. To what? To keep his statutes and his commandments. The Bible says we have to do what? Keep his man unto man. Keep his statutes and commandments. That's, right. That's what we have to do. That's our job. That's the whole duty of man, to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. You see what I'm saying? Keep reading. And his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whatsoever thou turnest thyself. So this is what this is what's gonna prosper us. Uh Joshua one and eight. Bring it out. If we meditate in God's laws. What's you what's some of God's laws, Eric? Yeah. Tell what 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 guys uh, what laws do you know that are from God? I'm gonna read this while you think about it. What you got? Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So it says, this book of the law, the Bible, shall not depart out of your mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou shalt what? Meditate therein day and night. We're supposed to meditate in the Bible day and night. Right. We're we supposed to sit and, and meditate on this day and night. We're supposed to, this is supposed to be what we learn day and night. Not drinking every day and night. Not smoking every day and night. That's right. That's good. Not stealing every day and night. That's a commandment. Wow. Robbing stones every day and night. This is what we do it. But the Bible says we're supposed to what? Meditate day and day and night. We're supposed to meditate on the Bible right. day and night. That's why that's why our nation is out of order. Because we don't meditate on God's words. We meditate on our own words. We worry about our own bellies, feeling our own lust and desires. Bring it out. Read. That thou may that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. For then the Lord's gonna make our way prosperous. But if we don't know no commandments, how we, what we gonna what, what we gonna meditate on? Bring it out. We gonna meditate on robbing, stealing, killing, hanging out at the, at the corner. Bring it out. Selling weed, selling drugs, selling crack, smoking crack, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, trying to get the next fix. That's what we gonna meditate on. But God said we supposed to meditate on His Word day and night. That's right. Keep reading. And then shall thou have good success. Then we gonna have good success after we do this right here, keeping God's commandments, keeping God's heritage. You see what I'm saying? Keep reading. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So the Most High gonna be with us. He ain't gonna be with us when we go rob the stove. He ain't gonna be with us when we smoking weed and smoking cigarettes. He ain't gonna be with us when we doing that. When we doing that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Bring it out. Are we are we still in slavery? What you think, Eric? We still in slavery? Why you say that? 
You know me. Read what you got out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, and hunger, and their thirst, and their nakedness. So God said the Israelites, everybody on this side right here, is going to serve their enemies. No. Their enemies. Not friends. Their enemies. Which what? Hold on, my bad. I'll read it back. Therefore shall I serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee, and hunger, and in thirst. In hunger, and in thirst. Where, where you go to get something to eat at, Eric? Where you gotta go to get food for your house? The stove. Who, who owned the stove? Who, who owned Walmart? What race of people? The so-called white man. He owned Walmart. He owned Kroger. He owned uh, Piggly Wiggly. He owned whatever, uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. He owned all this stuff. So the Bible is saying you would have to go to the, another race of people to get what you need for your family. Bring it out, Read. And in nakedness. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in thirst. When we need something to drink. All the drinks they got in that store. Who, who's the, who uh, distributes Coca-Cola? What race of people? Who? No. Who owns Coca-Cola? No. What race of people own Coca-Cola? No. Own Aquafina. Own Corona. Who owns these things? Bring it out, huh? The Lord, ultimately, yeah. But what race of people owns these things? Who owns these apartments right here? Who owns the house you live in? You pay the water bill at your house? No, man. Who who pay the water bill? Who you pay the water bill to? No, man. The what? The apartment? Where they get the water from? No. They get it from the so-called white man. That's where they get it from. Oh, Read. And in nakedness. And in what of all things. So in nakedness. These clothes we got on. Who who you look in the tag in the clothes, what does it say? What does it say in the tag? Made where? Made where? In China? Taiwan? Korea? God said we would have to serve our enemies for clothes. Read. And he shall put a yoke of fire upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. What, 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 what color is he? He black. That's a, that's a so-called black man. That's an Israelite. That's right. That happened to the Israelites. God's chosen people. Right here. Everybody on this side right here. This is why we living in the conditions we living in. This is why we going through the curses of God. Deuteronomy 28, 16. Bring it out. This is why, this is why we cursed in the city, cursed in the field. Because we, we want to do what we want to do. We don't want to do what God want us to do. All, all we want to do is fulfill our own lust and desires. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall I be in the city, and curse shall I be in the field. So God said we will be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Who was cursed in the cotton fields? Who picked cotton for 350 years? Okay, I, I think no. Who picked cotton for 350 years, Eric? No. no. The Lord picked cotton? The Lord ain't never picked no cotton. We picked cotton for 350 right. years. Right. Our forefathers, right. your grandfather, your great-grandfather, all your forefathers picked cotton for, for 350 years for free in this country. But we gotta pay for, we've got to pay for clothes. we got to pay for T-shirts. Read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Verse 16. Curse should I be in the city, and curse should I be in the field. So it says we will be cursed in the city. This is what we're looking at. This is a curse. You look around you. Does, do, does it look like we live in blessed above all nations? Bring it out, huh? We living in a curse right now. We living in divine punishment. Punishment from God for breaking his divine commandments. Right. Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? We're not living blessed right now. 
The black man is not blessed here in America. Bring it up. Just because I got on the Rolex or I got a uh, Escalade on 23s, that's not a blessing. That could be taken away from you at any time. Uh-huh. If you were seeing, your life could be taken away from you. That's right. That's right. Romans 6 and 23. Bring it out. Bring it out man. We got to stop sinning. That's, that's what we preaching up here. The Bible says do not sin. So that's what we advocate. Because we'll get, you'll get put to death. I'll get put to death if I commit sin. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So read what you got. Huh? Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the what? For the wages of sin is death. The payment for sin is death. That's what's ultimately going to happen if you keep on sinning against God's commandments. God is going to start putting some people to death. Does God kill? God don't kill nobody. God don't kill nobody. God flooded the whole earth. He flooded the whole earth. Did he kill? Did he kill? Yeah, beside God. There's no, but God is God and him alone. He's omnipotent. He's the ultimate power. Read. I kill. God does what? I kill. God does what? I kill. God kills. He'll put you to death for your sins. Right. Read it again. See now that I, even that I am he, and there's no God with me. I kill. How you doing today, sir? We're reading the Holy Bible. Why don't you come, come pray for a second and come, come conversate with us so you can learn more about who you are. Go ahead, pull it right here. Pull it right here. All right, read that again. See, now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill and I make a lot. That's the same thing we read in 2 Samuel. 1 Samuel. God kills. God kills because of our sins. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? If we want to continue in sin, the wages of sin is death. Right. So what is life? Come up, Let's get life. Come up, what is life? What makes us live? Bring it out. Are we are we living life now? Is this the, the best life that Bring we could possibly out. have? Bring it out, huh? No, nah, look around. This this is we in sin. This is death around here. Read what you got out. Proverbs chapter seven, verse two. Keep my commandments and live. What does the Bible say? Keep my commandments and live. What does the Bible say? Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and live. That's that's how you live it. That's how you live. Bring it on. You gotta keep God's commandments. Anything outside of God's commandments is death. Sin. Breaking God's commandments. You will be put to death. That's why that's why we we are uh, getting shot down in the street by by police officers. That's why we we go into jail at an alarming rate. Bring it out. That's why all these things is happening to us. Because we are breaking God's commandments. Read that again. Keep my commandments and live. God said keep his commandments and live, my brother. Matthew uh, 19. Bring it out. 16. Let's see what makes us live. Are we living out here? Is this living? Or are, are, are we comfortable in our sin? That's right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Come on, what are we? Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, what came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? If, if you want eternal life, you need to hear this scripture right here. If you want to live forever, you need to hear this scripture right here. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is no good but what? That is God. That is God. That's, read. But if thou willest enter into life. But if you want eternal life, if you want to live. Read. Keep the commandments. Keep the what? Keep the commandments. Keep the what? Keep the commandments. If you want to live, if you want eternal life, if you want the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. That's right. That's what it, I can I can ask a hundred people out here. Do they love Do they love God? Guess what they all gonna say? Yeah, I love God. But let's see what the scriptures say. 
Read John 14, 15. Let's no. see what the scriptures say. If, if what you say, how you love God, lines up to what the Bible says on how you're supposed to love God. Or you just thinking, can you call God on the phone? Can you go can you go to heaven and give God a hug? No. No, you can't do that. So how do you love God? Let's see. You got it? John chapter 14, verse 15. Huh? If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, what? Keep my commandments. If you love God, what? Keep my commandments. If you really love God, he said, keep his commandments. Yeah, the Bible is a simple book. We just have to know how to interpret it correctly. We have to listen. That's what we have to do. Go back to uh, Revelation 1 and verse 14. What color, what color is God? Uh, white. God is white? What do you say? God is white. So everybody, everybody say God is white. What you say? What color is God? You ain't seen him yet? Okay. What color is God, my brothers on the bench over there? Does anybody know what color God is? Y'all gonna find out today what color God is. Let's go to the book of Daniel. All y'all listening to the uh, under the sound of my voice gonna figure out what color God is today. So we gonna find out what color God is. There's a description of God in the Bible. But we've never been taught what color God really is. Read. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. This is the, the prophet Daniel. He beheld to the thrones were cast down. So all the kingdoms of the earth did not exist anymore. Read. And the ancient of days did sit. And the who? And the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days is the most high God. This is God right here. He has no beginning of time and no end of time. He's the ancient of days, the most high God. Let's see what color he is. Read. His garment was white as snow. And he had a he had clothes on. So the God so God got clothes on. So that means he had a body to put those clothes on. You see what I'm saying? Read. And it's hair on his head, like the pure wool. And what was his hair? And his hair. Upon his head, like the pure wool. What color was what what how, what kind of hair did he have? Like the pure wool. Wool. Yes, God got woolly hair. Yes, right. What kind of hair is woolly? White. Woolly. Woolly. That's woolly hair right there. Afro hair. Wool. Nappy. That's that's what kind of hair God has. God got an afro. God got hair about. He got an afro. Okay. Go to Revelation one and fourteen. Go ahead, brother. What what kind of what kind of what kind of hair God got? He got woolly hair. You heard that, didn't you? Right. All praise to the Most High. Let's see what color. Let's see what his son look like now. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ got the hairs on his head and his face was white like wool. Here we go with the woolly hair again. We're reading the Holy Bible. God got woolly hair. This is not woolly hair right here. This is this is this is stringy hair. Wool is like an afro, like sheep hair. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet and his what? And his feet and his feet. So he's looking down at Christ's feet. Read. Like unto fine bread. Like unto what? Like unto fine bread. What color Christ's feet is? And read. Like a two fine brass. What color is brass, Eric? Brass. Brass. Brown, gold. So Christ's feet was brown. Let's see how brown Christ's feet was. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a what? In a furnace. So if I burn something on the, if I burn some chicken up on the barbecue grill, what color is going to turn? 
it's gonna turn black. If I burn, if I burn some white toast, what color is gonna turn? It's gonna turn yeah. black. So Christ's feet look like they burnt. There was brass that looked like they burned in the furnace. So That's Christ's right. feet was black. Your feet the same color as your arms. Your arms the same color as your face. So Christ, according to the Bible, look like this right here. That's right. This is a better depiction of Jesus Christ. Than, than this right here. This does not exist in the Bible. This is a lie. This is not Jesus Christ. This is Jesus according to the Bible. That's right. This is your Savior right here according to the Bible. This is a depiction of Jesus Christ. Go to uh, Luke 1 and 68. Because when this man returns, he going to save some people. Let's see who he going to save. What you got? I'll read that. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Huh? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, the God of, uh, of the world. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of the Israelites. Right. Everybody on this side right here are considered Israelites. Right. Our God's chosen people. Read. I got you. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He has what? Visit and redeem his people. His people. Who are Christ who are Jesus Christ's people? Bring it out, Art. Who are Jesus? You know the Bible. Come, 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 come talk with me for a second. Go to Matthew 2 and verse 6. Let's see his people. And then we're gonna go right back to Luke. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. And thou Bethlehem. And the land of Judah are not the least among the prince of Judah. For, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. His people who? My people Israel. Christ's people who? Israel. Israel are Christ's people. That's right. That's who Jesus Christ's people are, the Israelites. Ain't no, ain't no uh, so-called white man on this side. Go back to Luke 1 and 68. That's who God's people are, the Israelites. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And nobody else. Come on over here, man. Quit talking across the street. Come on over here, man. Let's have a conversation. What'd you say? He forgive you of everything. So does that mean, so does that mean I can do it again tomorrow? No. No. the man eat the fruit. Oh, he all over the place. He said, he forgive. Yes, he forgive. Acts 3 and 19, man. Yes, we, we preach repentance up here. But guess what? You have to change. That's right. right. I, can't, I, can't, I can't smoke cigarettes today and then repent and then smoke cigarettes tomorrow and then repent and then smoke cigarettes the next day and then repent and then smoke cigarettes the next day and repent. I can't do that. That's not repentance. That's right. This is repentance right here. Read that. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repeat you that thought and be converted. And be what? Be converted. Be what? Be converted. Be converted. To convert means to change. That's right. There has to be a change. You repent and you change. You see what I'm saying? The Bible says smoking weed is a sin. So I quit smoking weed. I changed. Oh, uh, here we go. Acts 3 and 17. No, is that what I want? Uh, first Corinthians. First Corinthians. Yeah. First Corinthians. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, well, why don't you smoke uh, pepper? Uh, uh, garlic. Why don't, you, why don't you smoke uh, barley? Why don't you smoke barley? Let's see what you got. Read that. First, first Corinthians chapter 13. I'm sorry. First Corinthians chapter three, verse seventeen. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man what defile the temple of God. So if you defile the temple, if you if you smoke, is smoke good for you? If you if you're in a burning building and you breathing in smoke, is that good for you? Is that good for you? How you doing, my brother? Come on, come on up, man. Hello. No, I, I, I'll pray to the Most High. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. For real? Hey, let me ask you a question, bro. All right, so check this out. Read that again. 
First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy. He said, him shall God destroy. If you defile your temple, defile means put unclean things into your body. That's, right. That's what the temple, your body is a temple. Your body is the house of God. God is trying to dwell in you. Keep reading. Right. For the temple of God is holy. For the temple, your body is holy. God made you. Read. Which temple you are. You are, you are God's temple. Right. God is trying to dwell in you. Right. But do you like to live in a dirty house? Nope. Who out here can, can, likes to live in a dirty house? Nobody. God don't like to dwell in no dirty body either. That's right. right. God don't like to dwell in no dirty temple. Right. Yeah. Read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. That will get you put to death. Right. That's right. Defiling your temple. Read. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? Yes, sir. All praise to the Most High. Go to Genesis 1 and 26. Let's see. Brother said we was here. Brother said we we can smoke weed. But is our brother smoking uh, barley? Our brother smoking uh, grounded ground pepper? Nah, brothers ain't smoking that. Read what you got. Okay. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Every what? Every herb bearing seed. Every herb bearing seed, read. Which is above the face of all the earth. And it's every tree, and, and the which is the fruit of a tree. You'll see. To you it shall be for meat. To you it shall be for what? For meat. For meat. Meaning at this time in Genesis, they wasn't eating meat. They was eating herbs. That's right. Bring it they was eating it for nutrition. Right. They wasn't getting high. They wasn't they wasn't doing these things to uh get a uh, feeling off of it. They was doing these things to survive. That's right. Go uh Go to the Renaissance, uh, 104, 104, 14. All first to the most high. Psalms 104, 14. We we're talking about weed in the Bible. See herbs in the Bible. What are they used for? They're supposed to be used for medicine, not for smoking and getting high. Right. That's what it's supposed to be. It's a reason why we use this stuff. It's supposed to be for your health, not for your pleasure. You see what I'm saying? You got that out? Take your time, Mark. Take your time. Psalm 104, 14. Read that. Psalm chapter 104, verse 14. Uh -huh. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle uh -huh. and earth for the service of men. And earth for the what? For the service of men. Yeah, for the service of men. For when you need it, not when you want it. You see what I'm saying? Read. That we may bring forth food out of the earth. So this is what we're supposed to use this for. We're not supposed to be getting high on the street corner. We're not supposed to be smoking it for our pleasure and benefit. Can I say one thing? Go ahead, I'm I just want to say one thing. I also point, but I want to say something. We was not legal in America until the, like the last couple of years, right? The white man, he is not going to give you something and make it legal if it's not going to hurt black people. That's right. I repeat this. The white man not gonna give you something and make it legal unless it's gonna hurt you. Now, the marijuana like Reggie, mid, stuff like that, stuff that came from the earth, that stuff like that has seeds in it. Kush don't have seeds in it. Sour diesel don't have seeds in it. That weed that you smoking now come from a laboratory. Scientists made that weed. So they got you smoking it and it's diminishing your testosterone. That's why our young men are walking around here with their, their wrist bent. That's and they right. pants below their knees. Bring it up. Because that music that you listening to, that's why all the rappers are going gay. That's why Lil Wayne acting the way he act. That's why Lil Uzi Vert, all these rappers saying ain't nothing wrong with being gay. Young thug wearing a dress. And most of y'all bump his music. So all that's going on because they putting marijuana in our communities that's manufactured through a lab to diminish your testosterone. Right. To take away your manliness. So the white man ain't never gave you nothing that's going to be beneficial for you. Bring Just like Wick. 
Wink is not beneficial for the black woman. She think it's beneficial because she getting food and she getting water and she getting milk for her child. But where the man at? So none of that stuff is beneficial for the black community. Bring all right. So brothers and sisters, y'all got to come out that marijuana, man. It's destroying your body. Right? Go back. Go to uh, Ciroc 12 and 10 and then also you can come back up. I just want to pull this scripture. That marijuana destroying your body, bro. Just like them cigarettes. That's why you got cigarettes in the front of the store and the medicine in the back. You go to the pharmacy, cigarettes, the first thing you see, and the medicine that's going to heal your body in the back. Why? Everything to heal your body in the back, everything to kill you in the front. You got to ask yourself, why is that? Your, your slave master did that. Watch the read. See, Rock chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. The Bible said, don't never trust your enemy. Never trust your enemy. They ain't talking about a brother that wear a different color or that's from a different set or that live on a different side of town. It's not talking about that. When the Bible talking about your enemy, it's talking about the other races outside your race that have oppressed you. Right. That hung you from tree, burned you alive, gave you a false image of Jesus Christ, told you he was white when he really black, put marijuana in your neighborhood, put cocaine in your neighborhood, dropped off a, a train full of uh, uh, guns in, in Chicago so y'all can kill each other. Put Islam in your neighborhood. You know, Islam came from a white man in America. His That's name was right. William F. Muhammad. That's right. right. That come from a white man, too. So all these things come from them. God says what? Read it again. Never trust thy enemy. The Bible says, don't never trust your enemy. Your enemy come to give you something that's not for your benefit. It's to hurt you. That's Read. right. For like as iron rusted. So when you know how iron rusts, you know what I'm talking about, bro? You know you see an iron, it get rusty. Watch this. So Bible said, Yo, don't trust your enemy just like iron rust, right? So is his wickedness. So is his wickedness. His wickedness, his wickedness rust over like iron. Watch this, read. Though he humble himself read. and go crutch and yet take good heed and be well of him. Bible said when your enemy come in your neighborhood whining and crying and begging for your forgiveness for 400 years of slavery, what did he say? Do what now? Take good heed. And beware of him. Said, beware, because he ain't coming here, down here to your community to help you. He coming down here to your community to destroy you. Right. But nowadays, he don't come down here. He use your own people to sell the drugs to you. That's right. Ain't no white man on the corner out here selling drugs. He give it to our people, and our people do it. Read again. Though he humble himself and go crutching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him. As if thou had wiping a looking glass. So it's just like you wipe a looking glass. You know how you clean a glass? It's dirty and you clean it, right? Read. And thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Then he's going to show you he the devil. Every single time. Every single time. You see, wipe, you, you come down here, they give us community. Like last week down in that, uh, what's it called? Joe Pritchard. Joe Pritchard Holmes last week. The so-called white man in his church came down here and had a community dinner selling pork. You see what I'm saying? Selling greens, they got pork in it. No, and pork destroys our community. Pork destroy our body. They know that, but Bring they come out. out here to give you a gift. And at the same time, destroy you. So you're going to see that they rust ain't always wiped away clean. That's right. You understand? They, they rust going to come right back because they evil. And you come down here, you perpetuate the same thing that they do. Come on, Austin. I'll praise to the most high. Get us uh, to rock 38 and verse 4. So... We're not supposed to be defiling our temple. We're not supposed to be smoking cigarettes. We're not supposed to be smoking weed. All that stuff contaminates your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All praises. Read, read what you got. So, Rock, chapter 38, verse 4. Uh -huh. and the, the Lord has created medicine out of the earth. The Lord created what? Medicines out of the earth. The Lord created medicine out of the earth. Medicine. Yeah. You, don't, you don't take medicine unless you're sick. That's right. Read. And he that is wise would not abhor them. So he that is wise isn't going to abuse them. He that is wise is going to take heed to the scriptures. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.